Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. For today, we're gonna do little projects. First, we're gonna winter sow um, onion and carrots using toads. And also later, I will be do I will be doing unboxing with the well, the stuff that I ordered from Garden Supply in Amazon. So that will be fun. So stick around. So first, we're gonna do winter sowing in a tote, which will act as as a greenhouse. So my plan is I will just sow the seeds here and leave it till harvest time. And there is holes. I don't know if you can see it, but I put holes on the side for air circulation, holes on the bottom for water drainage, and the top I put holes too so that rain and snow can come in and you don't need to water them till later in early spring when the warm temperature hits. So what I have here are um, Yaya Carrot with uh, 60 days maturity and um, Spanish onion, sweet Spanish onion. So that will be so ready about um, July, I think. So that is good. Carrots, um, well, carrots by the way, um, can tolerate um, light frost, so that is good. So. If it's um, colder outside still, it'll, it is okay for them. They can tolerate that. So these seeds need a quarter of inch deep to to be sown. So I need uh, to cover them a little with a little soil. So now let us be moist in our soil. <music> as a container I have I have put lots of soil in here because that what is is needed for onions to grow bigger they need lots of um, fluffy soil so there's no hindrance for them to grow so my soil is pre moistened and ready to be sowed by onion. I'm going to be putting onion here because this stove is a little smaller and I don't need a lot of onion. Uh, but also, I also have a um, um, raised bed I'll be putting onion with. So I am just be sowing a little here because I will be cleaning them when they start coming up. This, these seeds are not too bad, they are a little bigger, so it's not too hard to divide them. What I will do is I will make it, make sure that they are farther away from each other, so I can thin them properly. <laughs> And of 
course, don't forget your turn. Now this was this one is ready to go outside. Now let's do the carrots. are all done oh wow this is pretty heavy I have used two bags of one cubic soil oh wow that's a lot of soil but anyway this carrot grows up to 15 to 24 inches so I think this container is just best for it so now we will put it outside and we will talk about the online orders that I got from Amazon Garden Supply now here we are with my orders. I ordered these things online from Gardener Supply and Amazon. Only one from Amazon though. This is the only one that arrived. Others haven't arrived yet. So now we will talk about the Gardener Supply orders first because I just love their products. I am not sponsored. I just love their their stuffs, you know. So this one, I am curious. I already opened it because I got curious. I thought it will come in a in a box. So, I was like, what is this? So, I opened it and it's my order. I, di I didn't wait till I can I can make a video, but I save it so I can show it to you still. So, this one is the, which is that you're so excited, the mini trowels. Yeah, they say it's the best one to use if you're transplanting your seedlings this is the best one to use so i don't know why i accidentally ordered two because i was like oh whatever i'll just keep this one inside and put the other one outside in the greenhouse but yeah they are so cute pretty sturdy sturdy i will let you know if this one really works pretty good so that's done and the other stuff i have i don't know what they are yet because i don't know which is which so, which one arrived? So, we will see today. Let's start with this little box here. Ooh, what could it be? I got a little boo boo in my finger, so it's hard for me to hold stuffs. So, it looks like I'm a little struggling. I think you know what it is. <laughs> I am just so excited. Yep, I am right. So, this is my deep root trainers. Oh, for my sweet peas. Because I sweet peas as you know they need to be um they don't want their roots to be disturbed oh i thought it's a little taller hmm. i should have ordered a seven inch one i wasn't expecting i thought it's a little taller oh what is this just a four inch oh dang it Anyway, I'll still use it because it's still doable because I have, I, I don't need to disturb the roots when transplanting them. So that is still good. Oh, dang it. Maybe I'll order another one the 
taller one. The seven seven inch, I think. Tall version of it. Anyway, order two. Layers the same. Cry, cry. Also, I'm gonna use it for um begonia because begonia also don't like the heat disturbance. So I'll be using that one for begonia too. Now next stop. This I think I know what this is. I know. <laughs> What's happening with my scissor? I need to use it properly. That's what it is. No, this is a pain. It's a super hoop, I think. That's what they call it. This is for my ranunculus aerial tunnel that you will use to protect your ranunculus when it's still cold outside. Oh, I am so excited for that. I think I have 1500 corms for that. that I will also show you how the process of it. I will not be opening the other one because they are all they are the same and I wanna keep it I wanna keep it in in its um storage before I use it. In its box, I mean. Now let's move to the last one which is from Amazon. I ordered it from Amazon. Lay it down. So I can just because I'm pretty sure this is it on the top. Gives me a hint of what it is. <laughs> yeah, it's like opening gifts in Christmas time. <laughs> I have a feeling when I open up orders, even though you even if you, you know already know what you're getting, you're still gonna get that excitement. <laughs> this is the order two. I will be putting it in the in a pot and um, put the I I think you already we are getting you know, a hint what it is. It's um for the sweet peas. Oh, it's hard. But. I have a hard time picking what what obelix 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 I don't I, I don't know how you pronounce it correctly anyway I have having a hard time to choose because I am picky with obelix so this one I find it interesting unique oh, yeah it's so unique that you couldn't get it. because I have a little boo-boo and I don't want to hurt myself more but I'm getting it I think something is stuck in there I wish they didn't do it this hard too
not a challenge. So this one is two. Two obelisks for the shed. Put it in a pot and put sweet tea. Well, now how? Why? Take the other one off. Why did they do this? Oh! Oh god! So, that's what it is. I thought it would be taller. What are you doing? Yeah, but you see how how unique that is? It, get, it got me. It's not the same as the other obelix that is just like a circle and have um, line. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. I got excited with, with uh, getting this item out from this box. Oh, I'll give you a four star now. Just kidding. <laughs> yeah, but um, it's really cute. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm already imagining what it's gonna look like, and like this the sweet tea. We're gonna crawl in here and bloom. Hmm. Anyway, that's all for today's video. If you like any of the items, I'm gonna put this the link in the description below. So be sure to check it out. That's all for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed my video. And if you do, please subscribe and like and comment. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!